was the buzz going around at work. The buzz among Pratt & Whitney employees was most likely louder than the engines propelling the A320 Neo aircraft. Quiet, on top of us, and we can It's still very quiet, but it's right on top of us. Starting in West Palm Beach, the Neo made a memorable flyover of the Florida facility where some of the Pure Power 1100 GJM engines are made then efficiently cruised its way up the eastern seaboard with a low altitude pass over the Middletown plant where pure power engines are also constructed and then East Hartford before surprising some folks at Bradley International Airport. Of course, it just sneaks up on you. It's so quiet. It touched down, you know, almost without a sound. It gives you goosebumps. It's a cold day. I have goosebumps, but it's not because of the weather. The arrival of the new aircraft allowed hundreds of employees to see their engines on wing for the first time. It's an amazing day when I watch it land. So that's, of all the engines that I've ever been on, this is the most exciting. Weeks, months, years, and countless hours of work sat in front of them on the tarmac. It was real, it was tangible, it was beautiful. This plane will be everywhere. Our engines will be everywhere and our logos will be everywhere. This project is so big. It's the corporation and the company's biggest project. And it's been a privilege to work on it, but it's been hard, really hard. And everybody who's on it knows that. But then when they finally see it like this today, when you, you, know, you see it all realized in one spot, you're like, that was worth it, you know? And, and, it, and it just makes you want to keep going. For Mike McCune, considered the father of the fan drive gear system, this is the first time he's seen engines and the plane together. Really, in the regional market, we're going to dominate in the regional market. So from a company standpoint, uh, it really makes you feel proud. It will dominate because all the things Pratt & Whitney promised, the fuel savings, the lower emissions, the lack of engine noise, are all supported by data streams as large as the open sky. Everything we said we would do, we did it. We are pioneers of this new architecture, but yes, then to show that from day one, it has absolutely met these very rigorous requirements. Data doesn't lie. Our numbers are based on data. Our airline customers are giving us the feedback that we're getting the 16 to 17 percent, and this thing is quiet. Even though the engines are quiet, Pratt Whitney is making a very loud statement. The buzz you hear, aviation is changing, and employees say, get used to it. At the same time, we need to remember that this is just the beginning. Um, we have to make thousands and thousands of these engines, and this will become routine. To see an aircraft with these engines on it uh, at an airport, um, it's going to become normal day to day. This is a turning point in our future where we get to take back the industry from our competitors. 